right everyone welcome to another video this is gonna be on uh, an old school game from back from 1998 called the X-Ball this is one of those games that it's still well loved but very hard to get to run on modern systems there have been uh, ways to get around it with uh, DG Voodoo but it still seems to have issues with sound so I did find uh, a way to use that with another program and get it to run perfect uh, at least on my machine so we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that and hopefully it will work just as well for you guys so I left both of the uh, links in the description so one of the places you're going to go is uh, DG Voodoo's so you're going to do uh, the link should take you to this page so you're going to click on the latest version which is this one so just download 2.81.3 download that to your uh, hard drive then we're going to go to this website right here which is in the descriptions also you're going to download this file here go ahead and extract that also to a folder and then we're going to use files from both of those to get the game working so I'm going to go into the folder here the right window is going to be the game I already have everything set up on there and then we'll go to the other one so basically the folder that has the uh, DG Voodoo files you're gonna you know control A select all of them paste them into the folder that has the game if you split the windows you will have one on the left one on the right or you can just go ahead and select all of them drag and drop now once they're all in there you're gonna go into the folder that says MS you're gonna go into the x86 folder normally you would copy all of these but this time around what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy uh, all of them with the exception of uh, DD draw you're gonna leave that one in there so copy these and you're gonna paste that in the uh, folder in here so they're with the game and then you're gonna go into the other folder that you downloaded the other files from we're gonna need just these two right here so uh, ddraw.ini and ddraw.dll do the same with those select those drag and drop them into the right side once those are in there you're gonna launch the DG Voodoo program you're gonna go here make sure that direct 3d12 is chosen so you're gonna highlight that I like to make scan lines come out so you can click on uh, the full screen on and then on this section here I pick this you don't have to it's up to you but go ahead and do that then we're gonna go to DirectX uh, my computer can run it at 4k that all depends on yours you may or may not be able to do that so you can do that to make it as smooth as possible do the uh, anti-lacing at 8x you wanna force vsync on you want to uncheck the watermark that way it does not show up on your right side and you can leave the uh, video card at this default go ahead and then you're going to click apply now once you do that you should be all done because all the files are where they need to be and then I'm going to show you this file here you may need to edit it to get it to work better on your computer so if you do have spots that uh, that tend to run slow, if you get the uh, the stuttering and so forth, you can go in here. There's a couple of settings you can play with. They'll have the ones for the ticker speed, which is, I said at 60. Minimum is at zero. So these are all you know settings that have to do with the uh, the frame rate and how smooth the game will run and then if it does work fine for you you can leave everything that is as is but these would be the ones that I would recommend that you uh, edit if something doesn't work correctly or if you see stutters those should be the two main spots where you can go in and make changes so let's go ahead and close this and then once you're all done with that you should be able to run the game so what I'm gonna do is run it now and I'll show you how smooth it's running
See, now normally with just the uh, DigiVoodoo plugin, normally what would happen when uh, those explosion sounds came out, the game would stutter, like whenever there were sound effects like that. And as you can see now, it's running smooth. There's no skips when the, uh, the sound effects come out. So you can see everything's running smoothly, no frame skips, no dips in speed, or no uh, sound issues. Alright, so that was a short and quick video on how to get that game to work. Hopefully you guys uh, can make use of this. We'll go ahead and see you on the next video. You enjoy the game. Have a good one.